Hello, we're in Malta and we've had delivery of lovely pictures today from our framers. And this, this picture by Bonello, J. Bonello, is dated around 1910, something like that. And it shows the letter from Marsham, Marsham Chateau side with the English church, the spire. I think that was about 1840. And without the Carmelite church with the dome, which is there now, which was about 1960-70. So you've got uh, Manuel Island, in the foreground, sorry, mid-ground, with um, rows of tents on it. I think they're rows of tents for soldiers. You've got a fleet of some sort, Lazaretto Wharf and Fort Manuel on the top. So 1722, I think the fort was. You've got Tashby. You've got the what is now the Strand. You've got a sort of fairly ordinary looking tree style overhanging um, sort of Grand Tour style tree, which you'd see in the 18th century all over the place. You've got an interesting foreground with a character, prickly pears, and a, and a masonry wall, and a signature, which is not obscured. And because this painting is stuck on top of this earlier mount, you can see the edges of the, the watercolour, and you can see the whole signature. And by good fortune, there was no damage to the edge. And you can tell because the signature is where it is that it hasn't been cropped and chopped down to remove problems or discoloration. We, we bought it in England in January. We had it sent to Malta. The frame was ordinary. And the mount, this mount, which is still on it, going underneath, is water damaged. So we decided to leave it on the mount because it stuck very nicely to this mount. And there's like an impressed ring around it we decided to put in a nice frame. So we bought this beautiful gold frame and we had um, a large mount put on to bring out this blue in the, in the picture itself. So I think that works very well. I think the mount goes well with the edge. I, I think you, 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 can see, you can see the pink, the pinkiness. You, you get a good dose of this lovely, happy summer Mediterranean blue and the, the, the actual subject is a, 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 quite a rare subject. This was painted by lots of different Maltese artists, this particular view. But I, th I think this is a colourful one in good condition. And uh, it's in some detail. It's not one of these rushed ones, like, for example, Joseph Galia, who, where you can, you can buy these similar watercolours of a lower quality. It's very well painted. You've got the, you've got the dusty uh, grey pinks. You've got bright vivid colours, the greens, the blues, and I think it's of a decent size. It's not a, it's not a large painting, but it's not a small Bonello. So um, it's ready to hang. It's just been reframed. The recommendation on the label says that the framer suggests that it's hung from two separate pins on the wall, not using a wire. That's what they're saying these days. So if you have it on two two pins on the wall, if one is released, it's less likely to end up on the floor. And if it is on two pins, if it's, assuming it's hung correctly at the beginning, it's going to be level. Uh, so if you dust it or something like that, or someone knocks it, it's not going to swing like a picture on a, on a wire hook. And the other thing is, if it, if, if it is hung using these pins with a, with a fairly short overhang of the nail coming out the wall, it will be flat on the wall uh, if you use, sometimes if you use a wire and, and, and a hook, the picture can be hanging off the wall like that. So I, I think it's, it's been properly framed and we picked an expensive frame, generous frame. It's gold effect, it's not gold leaf, it's gold effect. It's antique style, not antique frame, it's a new frame, it's antique style. And I think that the, the, the way the picture is shown to the full extent is what we're, we're going to do now with all, all, all the pictures we can like this we're going to show them at full extent and um, I, I think that that's a happy picture and it's evidently Maltese it looks like Malta um, and you're getting your dose of Malta if you look at this picture thank you